Landslides, earthquakes, and other mysterious phenomena have occurred simultaneously in opposite corners of the globe. Areas heaviest hit are reported to be the Ural Mountains and the Rockies. The United Democracies have also reported tidal waves reaching a height of 160 feet, battering port installations along the coasts of all five continents. Countless lives have been lost, and property damage is impossible to estimate. Top scientists at UD headquarters have been unable to locate any subterranean or atmospheric cause for these devastating phenomena which have been striking concurrently in different parts of the world, threatening the Earth with incalculable destruction if it does not cease. The latest theory is that the upheavals may be due to some gravity disturbance in outer space never before encountered. Monday, March 19th, 10 a.m. Space Command Headquarters, General Norton, Chief in Command, arrives to begin the full-scale search of outer space to determine the validity of this theory and take all possible steps to halt the catastrophic destruction. Look out, Jim. Like it's our turn. All right, all of you, back to your posts. Back. Morning, Charles. General Norton. I'm very glad you could make it. I just made it. You can take my word for it, it was a rough trip. But you, you look a mess. I've been at this thing now for two days without sleep. I've practically been living on endodrine. The worst is ahead. You got my message? Yes, Chief. I tell you, Charles, it's absolutely incredible. I don't know what to make of it. I quite understand that. There'll be mass hysteria if it doesn't stop soon. I've had the computer section on double shift. It keeps coming up with zero. We'll have to find it fast, Charles. I'm convinced it's a space problem. Then you'll want to take a look at this. It's from Smith's team. They have a wild theory. And they're convinced that it's a space problem, too. I didn't want to advise UD of it till you got here. Send out a top secret alert and arrange for a meeting. And I want Jackson on this. Yes, sir. Section 342. Signal out of 57. Put all stations on alert. Signal 57 on alert code. Captain Danton, I reach you. Set this up for Commander Jackson on Gamma 1, please. This is their show. Returning to the major disturbances, those in authority estimate that thousands of families are homeless. In European coastal cities, business districts have been almost totally destroyed. Among other losses are 50,000 pieces of mail washed away when the post offices were inundated. Governments are having extreme difficulty maintaining order. We've just received an announcement from the UD. Commander Rod Jackson will be in charge of the survey unit to investigate the possibility Turn of that off. disturbance. This end, he'll be Martin. taking the recently completed neutron deflector to his space command post, Gamma 1. God help us. We have an immediate 5-7 with full priority. Of course, Lieutenant. Priority it is. 5-7? That's top secret. This really is trouble, isn't it? Here's your code key and kill those newscasts. Yes, sir, Lieutenant. Prepare for cold transmission. Commander Jackson and crew ready for takeoff. Prepare for arrival at 14 hours.
Commander Jackson and crew report to Pad 9 for immediate launch to Gamma 1. Commander Jackson and crew report to Pad 9 for immediate launch to Gamma 1. Ready, Commander. May I have your ETA, please? We're 37. Program now position for immediate launch. Pulling cargo 3,000 tons. Flying jet channel A at 35,000 feet. We'll recheck during flight. What are we supposed to be looking for? Has anyone told us that? No one knows, but we're not picking up this deflector for nothing. Can't figure it out. What do they think we'll find out there? Flying saucers or what? Green and activated. All phases checked. Ready, launch. Deflector cargo and Jackson crew here. Radio. ETA figures check out. All systems go. Pleasant trip, Commander. Ready, pour it on. 11.30 a.m. Commander Rod Jackson, veteran spaceman, returns to Gamma 1 after picking up the deflector and orders for the most important mission of his career. She is good old Gamma One. Read us, Gamma. Near Gamma One, we read your signal. Systems functioning. Check, check. Get set for lineup. Ready and waiting. Switch all controls to station automatic. Switching out. Stand by for weight gain. Standing by. Do you read your cargo, Commander? Cargo follows on. You're on our controls. Take it away. out in the decompression zone. Attention cargo personnel. Attention cargo personnel. Unload Red Horse cargo on. On ramp two, without going beyond the limits of your stations, remain within station limits. I think I'll go over to flight control and help them set up that deflector. Mm -hmm. Yes, the sooner the better. Right. Latest Earth news bulletins to all space installations. Strange atmospheric conditions continue to cause major disturbances around the various positions of the Earth. Many major cities have been affected by various atmospheric phenomena. Due to the record tides which flooded these large masses of the Earth, many cities have been forced to evacuate their populations. 
Rod, what's happening on Earth? Aren't you supposed to be in there with your section? Scientists have been unable to account for the atmospheric conditions now affecting the very... Five seven coming in. Kill that newscast, please. Anybody find anything? Not yet, sir. This can mean only one thing. What can mean only one thing? The five seven. It can mean anything or nothing. I have a feeling. We operate on facts, not feelings, Lieutenant. In the meantime, how about getting this 5-7 out to every relay outpost in the quadrant as soon as it comes in? We ready, Joe? I'm pre-setting now. We nearly go. Go when ready. Here, honey, this is top priority. OK. The code key is coming through. It's coming in now, Lieutenant Sanchez. OK, Joe. There's nothing in this we don't know from the newscasts. They might as well have sent it in the clear. Ugh, that cold crazy down there. Are you prepared to transmit? It's all go, except Outpost Echo. I get only intermittent signals. Get a check on Outpost Echo circuits and keep trying. Right. Lieutenant, aren't you prepared to transmit? Yes, Commander. I've decided to send this one in the clear, if you don't mind. In the clear? Transmit in the clear. But this was a coded signal. You heard me. Prepare to transmit, Joe. In the clear? Yes, in the clear. Oral to visual. Oral to visual. In the clear. Visual to oral. Visual to oral. In the clear. You know, a commander is not supposed to show his edginess. Lieutenant, when I want personality advice, I'll go to psychometric. Yes, Rod. Commander, if you don't mind. Yes, Rod, uh, Commander. Lieutenant Sanchez, may I remind you, you're not serving on some space lugger or a 1980 cruise jet. This is Gamma 1, and I'm in command. And I don't want questioning of that command, even by raised eyebrows. I read you, Commander. Then read this. Two days ago, I asked you to issue certain orders to your section. I issued them. Did you really? I ordered all newscasts from Earth blocked out on this station. Station morale is low, and you're not helping it with those newscasts. I know, sir. Then why did I get here we in We had to monitor the newscast to give a feed to Captain Dabrowski. He was very anxious to... Toby, Captain Dabrowski again. Lieutenant, those newscasts will stay blocked out totally until I give new orders. And I want to see Dabrowski in my quarters. He's on peripheral tour. When he gets in. Yes, sir. Terry? Yes, Commander. Bear with me, Terry. Sometimes a commander tightens up to hide his edginess. I'm sympathetic, Commander. If any messages come in, I'm in my quarters. 1345 hours, UD headquarters conference room. Schmidt makes his report to the key United Democracies Security Command. The film clips show the extent of new damage to coastal installations after the strange seismograph readings. So much for terrestrial manifestations. On this map of the asteroid belt, you see the area which showed signs of agitation. This agitation concurring with our disturbances here on Earth makes the seismograph readings even more mysterious. We've got to get at the explanation for these asteroidal manifestations. Now here is where I think my team has produced a really sound argument. And I would like my colleague, Mr. Danton, to explain it to you. It's all yours, Charles. Well, let me say first that we were confronted with what seemed like nothing but random disturbances having no connection with terrestrial manifestations. However, by some intricate computer probing, we have determined a definite pattern. Now, assume I'm pointing to the field of the disturbance force. 
which has shown to be always along this tangent line. The time of the event correlated to the Earth's rotation indicates that the disturbances acted along the same relevant quadrant of Gamma 1, which is our remotest space station. Now, uh... Sergeant, sir. Yes, sir. Please continue. I'll be back in a moment. Dangen, are you saying it's a wild planet within Gamma 1's gravity quadrant? Precisely, sir. What is it, Janet? Dad, I've been trying to reach you for days. I've been meaning to call you. You've kept Rod two months past the normal tour. Janet, I will not go through all that again. Rod is our number one space post commander right now. Try to understand that... We just got a report. There's an emergency on Gamma 1. All right, Dobie, calm down and give it to me slow. We were out checking on a report of a gyro disturbance when all on of the... On B-level? On B-level. And? There was a wind. A wind? Have you gone out of your mind? That's right, there was a wind, but don't take my word for it. You'll find out. I can tell you when it happened. It was like a real twister. The whole section buckled right out of shape. I wasn't prepared for it, so I ordered everyone back in as fast as they could. Lieutenant, where do you think you're going? Standard operating procedure, Commander. Communications officer is assigned to every mission. That's not routine. Okay. And then? The guys were sucked right off. The tie line snapped like that. How many? Three of them. Couldn't reach them? It was too risky. Okay, let's move out. they'll be beyond our gravity pull. If we're gonna get them, we'll have to do it fast. Hook up the line, Terry. The rest of you, link together. Rockets on my signal. Checker feed is a constant 100 propulsion. Countdown on my out. Chain up over there, chain up. Out. hours. Lieutenant Terry Sanchez, Gamma 1 communications officer, stands watch as the rescue operation begins. Approximately 1,000 feet away, three men are caught beyond the gravitational pull of the space wheel and are being tossed about like leaves in the wind. running out. 
try to haul him in. You're crazy, Rod. Don't go it alone. I'm coming with you. Go on in. That's an order. an order you obey it when i give you an order the two of us might have saved the boy but you had to do it alone i could have been of some help you could risk your life but not as my senior officer only commander plays the hero why you think maybe i'd have chickened out Chub, you hear shut up toby is that all you can say i wonder if you realize i'm now in orbit for all right toby i got my own worries poor old rock knock it off i said you got worries trying to work out that silly love life. Shut up, I mean it. Now, wait. I... I have got a wife and a little kid down there. Three months I haven't seen them. Forty-eight hours I asked you for. Would you give me forty-eight hours? No, not you. You're too busy dodging Norton's daughter. You don't know what worries are. I've had just about enough. You got worries, huh? You and that no good two bit ground chick. Nebraska, you've been with me for five years. And you're an A OK officer, except for one thing. You never learned how to take orders. I'll tell you right now, you're signing your way out. If this insubordination continues, I'll have you grounded. <laughs> Jackson to telecom. It's only Norton who's waiting on the telecom to speak to you. General? The chief himself. Commander Jackson to telecom, urgent UD call. Is that clear? Yes, Chief. Also, there's no further need for transmission security. All signals will be in the clear. Right. There's no time nor need for coding. Do you read that? I certainly do. I want an around-the-clock sweep of your quadrant. In full gear? Use every facility you have. Chief, I, I hate to ask, but, but what are we looking for? That's the one thing you haven't made clear. There's a theory that it's a wild planet. Now I've heard everything. Set up all your nuclear and deflector apparatus. Any questions? No, sir. Yes, the news. I'm afraid the men have lost touch since we blacked it out. You can go ahead with it. Thank you, sir. Rod, it may be all your show. I'll do my best, sir. Let's get started. Oh, Rod. Yes, sir? By the way, I'm sending you a visitor. Janet. TAMU has placed its total space transport facility at the disposal of interplanetary I'm sure glad they forces. resume the newscast. So the world breathes somewhat easier today as it experienced a lull in the onslaught of disaster. Yeah, Gamma yeah, 1, go ahead. The globe subsided to nearly normal once again. No seismic disturbances of any consequence. There's an emergency, reported. Lieutenant. The incident Repeat, to echo. and vascular collapse also showed a drastic... Gamma 1, to echo. Experts generally agree, however, that the relief Can you hear me? is temporary. Gamma 1 to Echo. More Repeat. Relay. disturbances expected before tomorrow. All right, Echo. If you hear me, form a relay connection to Delta 6. Keep trying. Gamma 1 to Echo. 
Gamma one to Echo. Repeat. Repeat. Echo, come in. There's distortion in your signal. Rod, are we trapped up here in space? Terry, don't say things like that. I was... I was thinking... Soon there'll be no Earth to go down to. There'll be no place to go. How long will we be able to hold out up here? I don't know. At least we're together. You'll never see her again, Ron. Janet's coming up here. Up here? Norton arranged it. I'm engaged to her, Terry. I'm aware of that. Not that I want to be. Can't you keep her from coming here? I'm afraid it's too involved for that. Oh. Twenty thirty hours. Communications have been interrupted between Gamma One and UD headquarters. Rumors concerning the wild planet cause panic across the Earth. Meanwhile, observation outpost Echo has spotted something. That the outer space theory is correct. The United Democracies have reported that they will withhold judgment until they hear from Commander Jackson on Gamma One. This has been the latest UD statement. The next broadcast will be one half hour from now or immediately on the receipt of any further information. Any word from Jackson? Last word received by Telecon was concerning Echo. Later we checked, but we were unable to establish any contact whatsoever. That's fantastic. Why wasn't I informed immediately? Now look, if this goes on, I'll have to go up there myself. I'm sorry, General, but we have been trying all morning. It's not easy without relays. I've blocked every possible circuit I could find, sir. Well, that settles it. I'll leave for Gamma One at once. Lieutenant, keep up your efforts. I'm counting on you. Thank you. Let's go, Schmidt. Commander. Commander. Hmm? I think we may have something. Here's some nectar, sir. Oh, thank you, Livia. Raise the console. Raise your levels, Echo. We're losing control, Gavin. We're losing control. Get me General Norton. Headquarters cut out completely two hours ago, sir. And we've had no contact since. Why didn't you tell me before? Commander, I... Put me through to Ranger Ready. Ranger Ready. Captain Anderson reporting. I want a recon squadron green in ten minutes. And I mean green all the way. Green it is. Get me to navigation. Commander to navigation. Commander to navigation. Navigation, Sergeant Franklin reporting. Up wing, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Get this. I'll be go in 10 minutes with the recon squadron. You'll give me a heading for Echo. Echo, yes, sir. On my signal, you will put us on automatic as far as Echo's orbit. Yes, sir. Here's power control. We've been reading you. Control. It's go in 10 minutes. One squadron recon, automatic to Echo's orbit. I want you to put us there in an hour. Did you say one hour, sir? That's right. But, sir, these ships weren't built to take that speed. It's dangerous. There in an hour, don't argue. But regulations won't allow me to exceed the limit. On my signal, you'll give us maximum power. Yes, sir, maximum power. Joe, I'm playing wild hunch about Echo. Keep close contact. Yes, sir. Captain, I want you to... 48 hours. That's all I asked for. To remember. Commander, his town was destroyed. His boy was saved, but... 
his wife was killed. He just got the news. Asbeth, check. Lieutenant Peters, we will need all weapon ships from all squadrons alerted. We are green at 10 minutes to rendezvous. Check, sir. I want the deflector and all the firepower you've got. Including antimatter? Including antimatter. Very good, sir. Have the captain get some sleep. Yes, sir. I'll have Parkinson relieve you. Yeah. We're set here. Communications are go. Automatic lock is go, Lieutenant. You're checked out. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Rod, I'm afraid. I don't read you. I could go with you. I don't read you. Your go, Commander. Jackson has set forth an answer to Echo's desperate call for help. And if his hunch is right, he will see for himself the horror stalking outer space. Whatever it is, it has avoided detection by the powerful video scopes scanning the skies. while the commander will be ready for the free fall with full complement and fully loaded. They are now one half hour from rendezvous and running into a gravity pull that is taking them through a new heading. Keep them at the same speed and heading. Lock them into our own telemetry at 0800. Before rendezvous, we'll take them over. Econ Gamma, keep your flight course on 0800. Are you check? Are you check? I'm check, all right. As Jackson sets controls for maximum speed, the last stage disaster alert grows near on Earth. A few hours ago, Schmidt promised UD officials to resolve the problem in two days. Now, two days will be much too late. General Norton arrives on Gamma 1 to see for himself. Open your sights. The old boy's coming in. Norton. Himself. I'm getting their approach signals now. Gamma 1 to UD4. Give us your orbit. Orbit on 250. Controls on automatic. Open latch. Do you read? We do. Then proceed to door seven. Get him in, Joe. Close aerator. 
Come in on gyro. Come in on gyro. But why did Jackson have to go and lead the flight? He has officers for that. His place is here. Why didn't he tell me at least? We've been unable to get through to your headquarters, General. Headquarters is a shambles. They're setting up a temporary base. Who's next in command here? Captain Perkinson in operations. That was wind. Up here. They're not going to hold much longer. That last shot did it. The auxiliary just as bad? Yeah. They're both way out of balance. If we let them run, they'll both tear loose. Go get some metal straps and bars. We'll try to balance the main gyro. Right. Get with it, Martin. Have operations give a general alert. In five minutes, we'll be without gravity for a short time. I hope. Got that? We've got visitors, Captain. Okay. Get set to turn it off. I'm General Norton. Captain Perkinson, operations. Are you in command on the station? During this watch. But I'm leaving on the next expedition. I want a full report on what this command has done about the mission it was assigned and how far you've gotten. Very well, sir. I want to know what you've discovered and what steps you've taken. Right now, we have serious trouble here, and I was hoping to fix it, General. As soon as it's fixed, report to me. As for trouble, it's down below. And if we don't find a way to get it stopped, it'll be too late. Captain, if we don't find the reason and stop it dead in his tracks, we won't have to worry about troubles, ever. And it's not a matter of days, but hours. Gamma-1 personnel ready for gravity loss. All other systems, OK. Commander Jackson and group, we now follow your Apollo cruiser deadlocked on a course for Echo. Your time for rendezvous with Captain Perkinson on Delta Able 2. You're on automatic control at preset speed. Notify variations and corrections. Lieutenant, I think I've got something here. Communications, communications. Direct your sensor scope on low. I, I've got something from low. Low, repeat. Ready for anti-gravity. Now. Space Station. Gravity pull uncoordinated. Try it now. Gravity pull coordinated. All units are shifted, sir. Commander Jackson requested another ship with Captain Perkinson. It will be leaving in 20 minutes. Will you be going, sir? No. At plus two hours, 30 minutes, Recon Squadron, 
All systems A-OK. -okay. Take care, Walt. I've got to go. She's your baby. Yes, sir. Good luck, sir. Thank you. General, we have contact with Earth again. With headquarters? Yes, sir. They have a temporary setup working. Did you say you wanted Dr. Schmidt? Yes. We're ready here. If you don't need me, sir, I'll get back to my section. All right. We don't need any introductions, do we? Is that you, Schmidt? You got the report on the space body seen by Echo and Loeb? What do you think of it? You are making a mistake. It's a body so lacking in density, moving at too slow a speed. I know, Schmidt. Yet it's there. It's not possible for such a body to cause the disturbances we're having on Earth. I can only pray that you're wrong. Ship Loeb. No sign of echo, sir. But we've been tailing something. Looks like an oversized asteroid. It has a strange phosphorescent quality. It could be. Could be our baby. What the devil is it? Look at that burst of gas. How could something like that be up here without our knowing it? All right. I guess that's it. Let's move. Ride my tail. Recon able to flagship. We're maintaining course. Commander Jackson, recon able to flagship on Gamma 1. We've made contact with Loeb. No sign of echo. I think we've spotted trouble. Luminous asteroid body. We're very close now. Object moving on our tangent. Correct our position by 22 degrees on your quadrant six. Here's the crew manifest and here is the ordinance TOV. It checks out, so I'm going. But Captain, the commander said... I know what he said. Doby, you can't. The flagship, Terry, goes with photon power. I'll be there in no time. Rod gave you orders. Terry, I've got to. I want to see this horror, whatever it is. I want to fight it with my bare hands if I have to. I want to kill it. Do you have space for me? It's contrary to orders, you know. But I think we'll find a seat for you. Sergeant, this can't be correct. According to your T of E, you've got antimatter bomb packs on this cruiser. Yes, sir. That's a capital offense. You know perfectly well that only the president himself can order the use of antimatter. Who did this? Where is Captain Dubrowski? He left with the last cruiser. He left? Why wasn't I notified? You may go. is here, Commander. I'm getting in close. The surface looks slightly shrouded. The thing shimmers in spots. There are jets of gas or vapor. It's strange. Hold it, MacGyvers. I see asteroids coming. Recons, ease off. Thousand and thirty. Oh, one hundred hours. Unexpectedly, a school of asteroids come toward the reconnaissance squad. There is no set course to the direction or speed of an asteroid, which makes trying to dodge them very difficult. Jackson is too preoccupied with this new danger to fully realize that outpost Echo seems to have disappeared out of the sky. The body is slowed down. And the asteroids seem to have slowed down too. They're turning around.
The asteroids are being pulled back by that thing. Flagship? How come the flagship's here? Answer. I knew Parkinson was coming, but I didn't ask for the auxiliary flagship. Do you read me or not? Who's got the flight? Flagship of Gamma 1. Flagship to recon leader. Cruiser fleet in position and on target. Dabrowski. Dolby, I gave you orders to stay on the station. Big dope. Okay, flagship. Now that you're here, I'm mighty glad to see you. We can count on the load of one Jupiter and that Perkinson dud in his beat up Apollo. I'll ride him out of the blue. Dolby, I'm gonna try to hold this thing with the deflector. Then we'll try landing on it. I'm a light year ahead of you. All nuclear is okay. If that damn thing comes at you, shift and shift fast. I'll shift, okay. Better give me target range, Commander. It's approximately a thousand miles, but it could change unexpectedly. Commander Jackson, MacGyver's here. I think we're in trouble. MacGyver, what are you doing so close to that thing? Get out of there. Watch out for those blasts. I'd prefer you to get out. Did you hear? I'm pinned down. I feel the ship's not under my power. It's pulling us. Stay aloft. Read your retros. Don't get clogged, Mac. Fire retros. Rod, I see it now. It's solid. The dark areas look solid. We have to have help. You could try landing on it, Rod. Just go on trying to retro the jets. We're being pulled in. We need more retros, Mac. My God! They're being pulled in. They're in trouble. Dolby. Must be a way to kill this thing. Uh, our relays are jammed up. We're moving in. Will you rescue? Put the automatic jets in. Insert automatics. The climbers get with it and don't lose your head. Begin calibration to pull up. You can soft land if you must, do you hear? Don't just sit there and insert the automatic! Pull out! Retro! God help us. Listen, MacGyver's, Warner, try to get out of there. We'll moor and pick you up. To flagship and other units, careful. If that thing should turn, recon shift. MacGyver's, Warner, if you read, answer. We can't move, Rod. Our controls don't react. Rod, we gotta go and get him. Warn in position. Prepare to fix. You've got men on there, alive. Prepare to fix. We can try to get them. Prepare to fix. On your orders, sir. Recon, fall back. Gravity's pulling us in. We're sinking. We can't. There are dark spots. You could try landing. You could open our ship. Suggest it's possible to land. Suggest you use retros. It's possible to land. And attempt rescue. Request your land. No, request denied. Have everything ready, flagship, because they'll be right there. Do we take the antimatter, too? Yes, take it out. Somebody's got to get that thing and blast it to pieces. 
and I'm willing to make a try. Recon squadrons Dabrowski and Perkinson fix and moor, then open portals. Commander Jackson and recon crew have entered decompression chamber. Uh, close all air portals. Welcome aboard. What's new, Helium Head? We found it, that's what. Commander, the deflector's in operation. We should have a stabilization reading soon. This thing is obviously determined to crash its way through the universe. We won't let it. Why don't we turn the deflector on full power and blast that thing back into space where it came from and get rid of it once and for all? Because it would always be out there. There'd be no peace. If we can place it in the right spot, our only chance, Terry, is antimatter. It might blow us up, too. It's a big gamble. For big stakes. The whole world. Commander, Stabilization is go. We can't guarantee how long we can hold her, sir. That's our cue. I'm going with you. No, Terry. Not this time. I know what the score is. It's my duty to be there with you. You need the best damn communications officer in the fleet, and that's me. And you know it. All right. But it's every man for himself. I want you to know you volunteered for an almost sure one-way ticket. Here's the plan. We're gonna try landing on that thing. MacGyver's reported dark zoned areas where the surface shows greater solidity. Now, we'll have to explore to find the right place to plant the bomb. And once that's done, we've got to get out of there and fast. We'll try to get into MacGyver's ship, but wait for my orders on that. I want no undue risks. You'll all be hooked up with me. We'll divide in two squads. The antimatter will be carried by Captain Perkinson. You're all on your own, with the exception of you, Frank. I Amanda. want you to... Yes, Sergeant. It looks like stabilizer resistance indicator is rising. Looks like there's no time to waste. We're going out at once. You send word to General Norton. I want an OK on the antimatter. Yes, sir. Well, it looks like we ought to get over there. And we'd better make it quick. Let's go. I'll brief you as we go along. Send an urgent message to General Norton. Specific request to employ antimatter. Hammer flagship the space station. Commander requests specific use of antimatter. He could blow himself up with that stuff. I guess he knows that, sir. O one thirty hours. As Jackson moves with his team toward the asteroid, he realizes that its presence defies all scientific fact. Despite its small size, its gravitational pull was capable not only of drawing outpost lobe into it, but perhaps causing a wind in space never heard of before. Jackson wonders whether this could have led to a chain reaction of gravitational compensation all the way to Earth. Lobe must be hidden behind one of those gas shrouds. Must be there somewhere, but I can't see it.
You've got to try to get us out of here. We're sinking. We're being sucked down. Jackson reports there is no extraordinary change of temperature at the planet's surface. The heaving, gurgling magma is not a boiling substance after all, but a kind of cold gluten or jelly. The vapors coming from the blasters are cold gas. These do not come from the craters, but are blown out, almost exhaled from the magma. Stay close to me, Terry. Check the surface reaction to explosives. For God's sakes, Toby, watch out! Oh, Frank, there you are. Keep that stuff handy. Where's Toby? I can't see Toby anywhere. Toby! Toby, come down here, will you? Drop in the dark areas. Just a few more charges, Rod. Captain Parkinson and Lieutenant Sanchez will follow me. The rest of you flare out.
valves. And try to avoid touching the arteries. The presence of oxygen is amazing, but when attempts to call this information to the flagship fail, Jackson realizes they have lost contact. The pulsating motion becomes more pronounced. This leads Jackson to believe they are approaching the core. If we cut these arteries, the shafts might open. Come on. But the detonator... Get back here. We can ring one up. But how? I'll hook it to the thermoelectric contact in my breathing apparatus. Rod, look. The arteries are healing already. Frank, start ringing the detonator. I'm going to hack this stuff. Right. Terry, unravel the cable. Switch the terminals.
heal up within seconds. How are you doing? With a thermocouple to trigger it, I think it'll work. Are you attaching it to your apparatus? There's no time to switch helmets. Who said so? This is no suicide mission. The auxiliary equipment is in my helmet. But we can't take the risk of taking off your helmet, even if there is an oxygen count. No. It's too low. I won't risk destroying your breathing apparatus either. No, don't. Don't take it off, Rod. Don't. No, the oxygen is too thin. Oh, God. Here, Terry, hold the bomb.
none of them have come up. All three are wearing identifiable headgear. White is Jackson. Red, Perkinson. Checkered, Sanchez. No trace or communication from the three as of their descent. There they are now. The first to surface has checkered headgear. That would be Lieutenant Sanchez. Tell them to continue communications. We're still connected, sir. General Norton here. Continue your report. All I can tell you now is that two have come up. Red headgear. It must be Perkinson. And the third? I'll ask, sir. Gamma station to flagship. Please confirm number of survivors. Only two have surfaced. Aid has already reached them. Reconfirming. Two have come up. No trace of Commander Jackson. Was that the antimatter signal? It was, sir. Antimatter. General North, please confirm antimatter contact. Contact. Today, Earth where peace and tranquility have returned, pays tribute to the bravery of officers Dubrovsky and Perkinson, who courageously gave their lives for their country. and he gave their lives to protect our universe. Don't ever forget that. <laughs> 